wind turbines just keep it getting bigger and bigger. The larger the turbines, the more economical they are. We're now seeing rotors with diameters of more than 220 meters. So in comparison, the London's Eye Ferris wheel has a diameter of 120 meters. So they're absolutely huge. Hi, my name is Steve Molsky. I'm a mechanical engineer. A wind turbine basically captures uh, wind energy and converts that into rotation and torque, which is then connected to a generator to produce electricity. Pretty much the same way as a small dynamo on a bicycle is used to produce electricity for the lights. But the big difference with a wind turbine is that the forces and torques are absolutely huge. In the near future, we're going to see a lot larger turbines coming out into the market. Um, what we are also seeing is a lot more offshore wind turbines. The winds are stronger, they're more consistent, you don't have as strict regulations for noise as you would with onshore wind turbines, and it's also easier to transport these long um, rotor blades to the turbine site. they're continually becoming more environmentally friendly. The only component of a wind turbine that cannot be recycled are the rotor blades. So 85% of wind turbines is currently being recycled, but we are already seeing um, prototype blades using thermoplastics. So soon um, we'll have turbines where 100% of the turbine will be recyclable. Not only is every component, but every single parameter of every single component is being optimized. Today, eight out of the 10 major wind turbine manufacturers are using Simpac and also all of the major gearbox manufacturers. So CFD or computational fluid dynamics is really used for, for two things. One is to optimize the aerodynamics, not just of single wind turbines, but of a complete wind turbine farm and um, the, it's also used for aeroacoustics. We're gonna see the prices coming down even more so with uh, wind energy. Currently, it's, it's one of the cheapest forms of energy that we have, and I believe we're gonna see the pro prices drop to even um, two cents um, per kilowatt hour. And this is really a result of the uh, um, mass production.